Okay, good morning. So we have Adam Kiyakiv Mikem Karban Hashem. When a person brings a carbon from Hashem, what is the idea of a sacrifice? A sacrifice is that you give up all your desires, all your wrongdoings, the lust and everything you give up to God. So when you uh, bring a sacrifice on the altar, you'll have in mind that really I was supposed to go. But the animal's going on the sacrifice for me. And that brings an elevation to the animal too. We don't just uh, abuse animals. The animal gets elevated by bringing a sacrifice to God. Each and every Jew has also in him an animalistic soul and a human being soul. And that's why it says we have a zera behema, a seed of an animal and a seed of a human being. What is that? That's an evil inclination or animalistic soul. And we have the godly soul. And that is our Aveda. Our Aveda is to elevate our animalistic soul. That it should serve the same God as we do. That means it should serve God. Until it says that you have to, so to say, anger. And scream on your nefesh of Amis. That means to knock out all your undesirable wills. And that is our Avaida. And don't think that the animal soul does not get elevated by it. He gets elevated for it. Because as we know, that is this plain purpose for the animal soul, the godly soul to come into the world. Is to elevate the soul and also the animalistic soul. To refine his body. So how we do that? How do we elevate our animalistic soul? The first thing is... To feel a Rachmanis. To feel a pity on our body and our soul. Animalistic soul. That's why it says when Yaakov met Rachel, he cried on her. Which that is the idea of feeling Rachmanis. And that's the reason why we learn Torah and we daven. Davening is also a war between the nefesh of Ahamis and the nefesh of Likis, the animalistic soul and godly soul. Basically, whenever a person does something good, and how do we know it is good if the animal soul wakes up and says, what are you doing over here? Why are you serving God so good? What, what's happening here? And it tries to pull you down. Which that's the difference between a human being and an animal. Animal always looks down. And a human being looks up. So the animalistic soul draws us down and the animal soul elevates us up. 
But you first have to know that you are sick. The only way we can accomplish something and to elevate our animal soul and to elevate our bodies to be holy to God, we have to feel Rachmanis on it. Look how far down I got. Look how far I am from God. You cry for it. And that's the difference between a sheep and a sheep and a, a bird. A sheep, you have to uh, think into it. Bakar is way above. And that's what it says, that the Bakar is very powerful. But we use out the Bakar for Kedusha. We take the strength that we have and we use it out for Kedusha. The strength of the Nefesh of Ahamis, use it out for Kedusha. But Tzoyin shows on passion And that is the sign. But the sign is you have to think about it. You have to contemplate on how uh, how far you are from God and cry for your soul and feel a pity for it. A bird is on the other hand right away as passion. And by learning Teda, we elevate our soul too. As it says, that uh, there was a letter from the Rebbe to someone or to two people that went on a, as a messenger from the Rebbe, as Bacharin, to a uh, a city far out, spread Judaism and everything else. Now someone gave them a check. They came back to them and said, what you do with the check? Well, you brought your Nefesh Bahamas also, you have to give to your Nefesh Bahamas also. You have to give to your animal soul also. Because your animal soul went with you. Your animal soul did not fight against you. So by Tata, by learning Tata, You bring peace in the world. And therefore, by learning Primus Ateira, by learning Chesidis, we actually come to the coming of Mashiach. That each and every one will see godliness. But let's know it's a very bad pity on our soul if we do anything wrong. So the whole idea is to first feel bad for our soul. Because if we don't feel bad for our soul, we'll never want to do anything. But we have to know we're very far from God. So may Hashem help that through our Aveda, we'll come to the time that through Chatuma Avim and Aretz, the, the impure Spirit of God will be removed from the world and will be the Cholavavcha will be completely fulfilled with godliness with the coming of Mashiach and the building of the base Hamid Shashlishi. Take it from Yad Mamish now. Long live a master, teacher, and ever king Mashiach forever and ever. Long live a master, teacher, and ever king Mashiach forever and ever. Long live a our master, our teacher, the Rebbe, King Mashiach, forever and ever. And what does that have to do with the Parshav Yetzi? It was a, it is a mimer of the Rebbe for Tess and Yud Kislev.